Alrighty, in this video, we're going to be palpating the internal abdominal oblique. So again, we have a person in the supine position. We're going to be palpating from pubic and pelvic area all along this iliac crest, and then as well as some ribs. So as a continuing trend with a lot of these abdominal muscles, if you've been watching them, I usually keep the pelvis as the origin. So for this, the internal oblique has three attachments, um, but they actually extend quite quite a bit back. I'm actually going to ask you just to bring your arm up out of the shot here for a second. Excellent. So attaching all the way along this iliac crest, which goes all the way posterior and into what is known as the thoracolumbar fascia. So I'm actually going to reach all the way back into some of this connective tissue back in this area here. So this is a part of the origin, the entire iliac crest all along here. And then as it gets to the ASIS, it's going to then start working its way down along the inguinal ligament. So just for safety's reason, I'm going to ask you to use this hand and create a border. So he's sliding his hand down, kind of finding that bony area. And do I have permission to palpate above your hand? Yeah. Okay, so all along here is our inguinal ligament, and that connects down to our pubic tubercle. So inguinal ligament, iliac crest, and thoracolumbar fascia as that origin. Putting a lot of internal obliques muscle fibers in this lower quadrant in here, um, where in the previous video we talked about external oblique having a lot of fibers up in the rib area. So that is the origins, and you can move your hand away now. The insertion is going to be all the way up along the linea alba, or again, as we discussed before, some will reference it more over laterally on the abdominal aponeurosis here. So again, that internal oblique is going to have fibers running this way, and then it's going to insert to the lower three ribs. So I'm just going to be reaching my hand around towards the back, feeling for this most inferior rib, rib number 12. So that is right in this area here. Going a little bit higher, this is rib number 11, so 11 and 12 being our floating ribs. And then this lowest rib attaching to the costal cartilage here being number 10. So those are the insertions as this muscle has fiber direction running more like this. So to fire off this muscle, I'm gonna be palpating in this kind of lower quadrant. And I'm actually gonna ask him to bring his left shoulder towards his right hip. So whenever you're ready to do that, excellent. So this is a ipsilateral rotation and flexion of the right internal abdominal oblique. And you can come back down. So this muscle is going to be responsible for ipsilateral rotation of the trunk, as well as flexion and lateral flexion of the trunk towards that side, as well as it's going to grab this pelvis and kind of lift it up and go into more of a posterior pelvic tilt. So those are going to be the actions. Again, just last one more, again, just to confirm that our muscle is definitely in between the iliac crest and the rib in this area, and it has our fiber direction running more like this. So that'll conclude our palpation for internal abdominal oblique.